So this is exponents rules one. So we're going to talk about how to just multiply exponents if they have the same base. So um, first of all, let's talk about what the notation means. So you can see like two to the power of three is two times two times two, which is eight. Um, X to the power of five, it's five of these being multiplied. Okay, so a couple of things uh, at the beginning not to get confused with. This does not mean two times three, it means this. It means two times two times two. But a lot of times people accidentally make a mistake and think that this is six. Um, okay, so let's just jump into the rule. So it's actually pretty easy. So you can see this part here is called the base, and this part here is the exponent. So remember, this rule only works <clears throat> if we have the same base. So both of these are x's, right? So um, basically all you're going to do is um, this means that there's two of them times there's four of them. And then if I add them all up, one, two, three, four, five, six, you could see that there's a total of six of them. So is there a way to do this without writing it out like that? Absolutely there is. Um, another way to look at this is as long as the base is the same, you can rewrite it where you add the exponents. And that is the multiplication rule, is that as long as the base is the same, you actually just add the exponents. So you can see I get the same thing. Now, the other thing that's gonna happen when you're doing this is you're gonna get expressions that look kinda of like this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna organize it first. <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna do. Now, this has a, a coefficient of three. So, um, these don't have anything out in front, but that basically means that they have a 1. So I'm going to go ahead and take the 3 and put it by itself in a group. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these x's over here. So there's this one times this one times this one. So I've kind of organized it. And then now I have 3. And then x, these are all the same base. And what I'm going to do is put it up like this. So I've got two of them here. I'm going to add that to the 3. And then this doesn't have an exponent, but that means it has 1. Okay? So then what's going to happen is I have 3x, and this is 2 plus 3, which is 5 plus 1, which is 6. Um, the other way to do that, of course, is, you know, like I did up here, you could have always, like, pulled this apart. So there's the 2, there's the 3 of them, and then there's the other one. You count them all up, you get 6. Okay, this guy down here, so um, what I'm going to do is take my numbers. So I have my coefficients. I'm going to put them in a group. So I've got 2 times negative 4. And then I've got these two y's. So I have a y to the third and a y to the two. And so this part right here, 2 times negative 4, is negative 8, and then I've got y to the 3 plus 2, so that's negative 8y to the fifth power. All right, this one down here. Now, this one has something very interesting, and this actually is a huge problem for a lot of kids, and it's this right here. You see this negative here? So one thing that I always tell kids to do um, when they see a minus in front of the x like that is I always say, to make your life easy, all you do is you just pop a 1 in there. See? And the reason you do that is that minus in front of the x means that there's a minus in 1 in front of it. So that's actually a coefficient. So that's one of these guys. See? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my coefficients in a group. So I have negative 3. I have this 2. And then I have a negative 1. Okay? Now, the x's, I've got one x right here, so I'll kind of color these. So I've got an x right here, and it looks like there's an x to the 2 right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put those together. That's another group. So see, I've got my x terms, I've got my coefficients, and then now I'm going to do my y's. So it looks like I've got three of them here and three of them here. Okay, so I organized it, and then I do negative 3 times 2, negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6. Um, there's three x's here, 
and there's six of those y's. And the last one, so there it is again, that negative x. So I'm going to pop a 1 in there. So I'm going to put my numbers first. So I have a 4, a negative 1, and a 5. And I have, um, looks like an x to the third here and an x to the third here. So I'll organize those. And then it looks like I've got a y here and a y here. And then I just got to put it back together again. So I've got uh, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Um, there's 6 x's here. And there's 5 y's. And that is how you multiply exponents with the same base.